in 1865 by Sidney Wolfe. This old location is inhabited by many different entities. Built upon a medieval monastery, this place was eventually dissolved by King Henry VIII. With paganism and witchcraft taking place in these local lands, could something truly negative have been brought through to the modern world? Haunted by a phantom tea lady, the spirits of children have been seen here, and even physical poltergeist attacks have taken place. This is somewhere we really have to investigate. The dark shadows that have been seen in this building, the spirits of medieval monks, or are they the souls of the World War II soldiers who lost their lives in the tragic car accident? Spirits of Nottingham Hall, we've travelled here tonight to speak to you, to meet you, to communicate with you, and hopefully to get a photo or video with you. Whoa. That were advanced right there. That one over there. Was that one of the that one over there somewhere. Thank you. Possibly do that again for us. If you could do it again, we'd be very grateful. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Spirits, we are aware that this building is inhabited by many different beings. We've come here tonight to try and capture you on camera to show the world that you exist. We want proof that you are around. On the ground is a device called a REM pod that creates a magnetic field. If you are here, is it possible for you to copy what I'm going to show you right now? If you can't physically touch the device, can you try and go forwards and give us that sort of effect? We know in 2006, a man called Edwin Beckett sadly lost his life while putting up Christmas decorations on the staircase just out of this room. He fell off a ladder and landed on the staircase post. If you are here tonight, could you possibly give us some sort of sign? Show yourself as a ball of light. Do you make a bang in this room? I don't want to do exactly the same thing. Thank you. If you are Edwin Beckett, could you maybe move a chair? If you are a monk that's believed to walk this land, so I've been hearing a few bang that little taps over here. That was like a footstep as if we were coming closer. If you are walking towards me. Feel free to come stand right next to me, touch me. Edwin, I'm sorry that you lost your life in this building, especially towards Christmas. Is there any way that you could physically affect this device that's on the floor or on the stage to make us aware of your presence? I'm just going to add as well, guys, I've got some tingling around me, like, you know, like a static charge. Right. I'm feeling that. Could you speak to us, Edwin? Could we hear your voice? Back on. What about on the stage? If you can break that magnetic bubble, that will further validate that you are here. We know that a poltergeist attacked a female that's present tonight in the toilets. And she ended up with a black eye. Can you do something in this room? Can you move a chair? Would you shut the door? Really do something right now for us. Who told you you heard that noise? That's like a voice. Did you hear that, James? No. 
He almost sounded like he said, come on. Are you, are you talking to us? If you are, feel free to talk again. Say anything at all that you like, any word you want to say. We know that children have been seen in this building. We know that World War II airmen lost their lives in a car crash outside and your bodies were buried in the basement. We know that monks' graves are hidden behind a sealed off tunnel. Were you the person that made the loud bang when we was walking around earlier? We are going to capture you tonight and we're going to show the world that you exist. What I want from you right now is for you to sit on one of these chairs while I take a series of photographs. If you can do that, it will show me that you are here tonight and it will provide proof that you exist. I will be taking a series of photographs. If there's any monks here, any soldiers, any children, any spectral beings, come on. We need you to affect this device on the ground. We need some sort of validation that you are here tonight. My name is Kyle. What the fuck? And the man on camera is James. Please feel free, don't, don't, don't be shy. I'm inviting you to come and sit on that seat next to me. I'd be honoured if you'd take up my invite. Oh, that's a lot. If that's you, please come on. Use a bit of my energy if you like. Just take, take a seat. I'd like you to affect this device right now. I'm going to place it on this chair. Once you've joined Mark on that chair, I need you to set that off to show us that you are here. There's one light. Make one light illuminate, that will be validation that you are here tonight. We want to know your story, we want to know who you are and why you remain here. We know that Sydney Wolf constructed this building. Is it possible that you are here tonight? Are you a monk? We know there's a history of monks on the land that this is built on. No matter who you are, Please feel free to come and sit next to me. Edward, could you come into this room, please? We are sorry what happened to you. We've come here with the greatest amount of respect, and it was shocking to know that you died in this building. I won't move in then. What? That one near you? It sounded like you're over there today. By the way, yeah, not bad. moving. He's not moving his feet at all. Can you knock on something in this room? Maybe on a window? I want to know the story of who you are tonight. There's many people watching these videos. Keep going forwards if that's you. Sit on this chair, please. Sit on this chair. Do not be alarmed by us. We are feeling respect and in turn we would like that back. Do you know the team that's downstairs? Have you met them before? Could you set off that device? Someone's had a prediction that you're going to do something tonight. Will that be towards us? Whoa. Thank you, that was amazing. Did you hear how I said that and that happened? 
Yeah. Right guys, so what you're looking at right now is a Kinect sensor and basically we show up as this on camera. Now I'm going to move away from here so the Kinect sensor can pick up any space that are present in this room. I need you to come and stand in this vicinity and try and show yourself on that device. If you could do that right now, that would be a fantastic. So again, just going to keep a close eye on that. Okay. What? Come that one, yeah. Yeah, that no, what is that part of the film? Yeah, it's just right. straight past that one. I'm, sure. I'm telling you now that black figure just walked past that one. Let's window. go, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's all I want to do. I said I felt like I was going to that, did I really do that? There's a fucking bit of Oh, I feel cold. Oh, it's freezing. Someone, Someone just walked past this window and Mark's just witnessed yourself. How live this in there? 100%. A solid chair? A solid, it was just like somebody walking past. If you are here, could you maybe get this red string to move slightly? Really go for it. Show us that you've just walked through this wall. Turn it. Turn the triangle at the bottom. Come on. Come on. Get moving it. Move that red string. Even better, flush that toilet. Turn on the dryer. Do whatever you can. Well, we're going to leave this room right now. If you can turn on that toilet when we leave, or the dryer, or the tap, please feel free to do that right now, because we are in this room. Yeah. We know that a monastery existed right under this building. We know that monks' graves exist downstairs, but are now sealed off. Are you the shadows what people see? I heard a bang from oh. kitchen. What kitchen? From there. It's that bang. The shadow that walked into the bathroom that Mark saw with his own eyes is present right now. Can you come back and push that device over that's on the table? We've had this go over twice before. We know that you can do it, you've got the power. Are you an ancient entity? Are you something that was never alive? Are you something truly negative? Show us that you're here right now and affect that device, push it over. If you're so powerful, surely you can do that. It's not hard. We know that we can do it. It happens. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I just don't think they've got power to no. do it. Do you? No. Simple tests. I don't know. I bet if there's any children here, they can they can cause that pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Maybe if Edmund's here, he'll, he'll shut it. Paratech loaded. Right guys, so this device, Paratech, is a free download on Google Store. It's basically an online Ovulus, uh -huh. uh, but you're just working offline mode, which is what we need. I'm going to turn this on now, and we'll listen for any relevant replies. Yep. I've had my name come through here numerous times, and also the validation. Started scanning. So this is scanning. Back. Back. Back where? Somewhere else to go back to. Headphone cold. It's old. I don't feel that bad now. Back in the air. We're walking in, I'm freezing. What do you mean? Yeah, it's me. Question. 
Question. Do you want to ask us a question? Yeah, feel free. We always ask questions. Be nice we ask a question. You do that. Oh. I almost sound like someone moving or been drugged in one of those. Sure, I want. Tell us what's in the basement. Said Reek. 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 You're referring to our name, possibly? Did you say the top word? That would Seven. 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 I thought that was moving then, it's because you're moving with a thing, you're a shadow, I'm doing it. <laughs> Looks like it's moving. Come on, give us something. Inner. 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 To get. To get. To get. To get what? Seven in a seat. Yes. Wow. Are you referring to Mark saying that he's gone chilly? You're the one that's affecting him. You're a gold. I just feel weird there. Could you maybe say one of our names to validate this device? Is that something you can do that you might be interested in? It's all right, release though. Learn. Learn. What's it trying to say to us? We are trying to learn. We're also trying to pass that on to other people. Ben. Ben. Are you Ben? Fear me. Fear me. Fear me. Are we supposed to be fearing Ben? If we are. So I'm not cover the door show. Give us something to fear. Even better, if you're in that room right now, I want you to sprint towards us so we can hear your footsteps. Seven. Isabella. Isabella, are you one of the children? Ben could be as well. Not where big Ben. Come and run towards us. Another one. Let's get back in there. Indicate. It's indicating where to go. Leave this cover door off. I'll come back and check it. Let's go back. Yeah, I'll get to you. Yeah. Indicate. I don't think that noise. No, behind stage curtain, is there? Thank you. You're very welcome. Are you thanking us for doing what you wished? Yeah, that's sparking fruit roof. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you. What do you mean by thank you? Two. Two. Ben, Isabel, go to. We're going to leave this room shortly and make his way downstairs. Industry. Industry. What do you mean by that? Please try and tell us something. I'm freezing. Zero. Zero. Does that mean nothing? Are you not willing to tell us anything or do you not know? If you're unsure, could you just, put, could you just say unsure? Again. If that's Close you trying second. to show us where to go, make that noise right now. Come on. Well, I think on that note, we've got some decent activity in here. Plenty of walking, plenty of noises. You saw that black shadow go towards the toilets. We've had no REM pod activity, no K2 activity. We're unsure if we've captured anything on the Kinect sensor because we've been in and out of different rooms. But we're going to move on to the next part of our investigation. Right guys, so basically we've performed this little vigil upstairs, didn't we? Uh, we've got a lot of walking, a lot of talking, a lot of strange things going off. 
No rempel activity, no K2. You saw Black Shadow with all sorts of toilets through that window and light were on, so you saw it quite clear. It was a solid figure, absolutely solid. What you're looking at now is a, basically a CCTV system. We've got a camera in the basement and we've got one in the room upstairs. And basically, when motion's detected, the camera records for 30 seconds. And obviously when that happens, the camera will get bigger and then it'll start recording. So we're just keeping a close eye on it to see if anything interesting happens. We've been getting a lot of balls of light showing on this camera itself in the basement, which is where we had the loud bang earlier on. Yeah. Obviously, Equinox Paranormal is actually in a different room right now, so we're just going to have a few moments to chill out before we come back and then we'll move to the next part of the investigation. We're now actually sat in the conference room, guys, and obviously this is where decisions were made for basically the community, I guess. Yeah. This is where decisions would be important, things would be discussed, and things would happen all from meeting in this room. Now, we've heard that if you sit in the chair behind us, the spirits in here get really angry. Mark's just been sat in there, fight were pretty cool. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. We've got two red pods set up in front of us. They're just on camera, so if they go off, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. We've got three balls on this table that's dotted out. So if they move, again, that's going to be really important. Now, we're not touching this desk at all, so they're not going to move unless they physically move. That's right. We've got two spirit boxes. We've got the cultist box and the FCD or 4 box, and we'll be using them in a bit. Behind us, we've got two metal balls which are yours, and basically when they move, they, they rattle, so you can kind of like hear the noise that they're making. And the static candle is on behind us as well, and that detects static energy. Do you, you want me to start? Yeah. Right, spirits, we've come from upstairs where we conducted a short session earlier on. And we were getting a lot of knocking, a lot of walking, and Mark saw a shadow be in a window making its way through the toilet. We know that RF Airman crashed and I believe they actually went into the river and drowned and the bodies were fetched into the basement. We know that children exist in this building, spectral beings exist and even violent poltergeists. If any of you are in this room right now with us, we need you to make a noise, affect a device, Roll one of these balls, knock on the table, speak to us, do whatever you can to alert us to your presence. If I offended anybody by sitting in the chair behind us, can you please let us know, as Kyle says, affected any of these devices. Well, there's no, I've got a cold breeze coming around me, I can feel it. Right, and I feel absolutely fine. It's going right, to feel yeah. fine. Right. We know that decisions were made in this room. We know that important people worked here, counsellors. We know that a violent poltergeist exists in this building and it attacked one of the women that's here tonight. We want to know who you are. And we need you to do something right now. Could you copy this noise? Can we hear your footsteps? Can you poke one of us in the back? You're not doing anything tonight to prove that you are here. It's just me. We just want to document proof of your existence. We want to know what it's like where you are. We want to know what you can see. I think what I'll do is I'll put Paratech on as well. It's just, yeah, yeah. It's just something to keep winning it. Yeah. Basically, as I said, guys, it's a free application that you can download. And we do get quite a bit of good things coming through, don't we? Yeah. Thanks. Made by Happy Droid. Loaded. Yeah, so that's loaded. I'm going to press play and we'll see what happens. Started scanning. Recluse. Recluse. 
be close. That means someone that's like on their own, doesn't it? Yeah, they're a lot better than their own mates. Can you give us the name of who you're talking about tonight? Or do you mean you want someone on their own? Come on. Really? Outage. Outage. What could outage mean? The lights off. Need. Need. So the need outed. And someone to the out. Yeah, maybe. I bet that's probably it, isn't it? Try and do something for us, come on. For you. For you. Please, if, if that's okay. These two devices in front of me on the separate tables. The create a magnetic bubble. Is it possible that you could maybe affect that for us just once tonight? Maybe just one light? Or roll one of these balls across the table? That was that? Daughter. Daughter? Whose daughter are you referring to? Because out of us lot, only one person here has a daughter. Would you maybe say their name? Or are you one of the children that's here that's someone's daughter? Sandy. Oh, Sandy. It's a girl's name, daughter. Yeah. Hi, Sandy. I wonder. This is just a thought that's coming to me straight away. Is Sandy what? Edwin's daughter, possible? Or John Jackson? Or is their name on there, Sandy? Feet. Feet. Mm -hmm. Sandy's is no. It? But Sandy's is a girl's name, really, isn't it? Could you give us Sandy's surname, if possible? Quarantines. 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 We know that paganism and witchcraft existed on these lands around this area. Is something stuck here? Is something trapped? Has something been brought into this world that we need to know about? Is that what attacked Julie? Text. Text. Bennett Basement. Would we hear that? Logan. Logan? Logan's a strange name, that could be like a, mm. a war name, maybe one of these airmen or something. That's some drug and stuff. That's coming from downstairs, guys. Obviously, the basement's underneath us. This place was built on an ancient medieval monastery. Yeah. It's believed that monks aren't this area, and downstairs there's actually a seal off wall in there that you yeah. spotted, and we were told that monks' bodies are actually buried behind there. Yeah. Yeah. He? Who's he? Come on, give us some validation of what you Satan. are. Satan. Your soul, Satan. Here we go. This is where it's kicking up now, isn't it? Yeah. I don't believe that you're Satan. Do something. If you that's were just, Satan. That's just gone below. Did you see that? No, I'm looking over there. If you really are Satan, any of these devices now, they'd all be going off. Every single one. Yeah, sure, we can hear something happening downstairs. Zoom. So. Satan, your soul, Satan, zoom. Mm -hmm. Is he referring to Satan keeping people in like a zoom? Yeah, technically yeah. hell is a place yeah. where they keep loads of souls together, which is kind of like a zoo, in my eyes. Yeah, isn't it? see what he's saying, yeah. He's watching over them, demons Definitely. are watching over them. It's like us with animals, keep them in a zoo, locked up. Yeah, and you have to remember as well, guys, that with these kind of apps, there's only a certain amount of words. So if the correct word's not there, they're going to use the closest thing to it. Paper. Paper would have been used in here. Yeah, things would have been wrote in here. Would you like us to switch on one of these devices so that you have a voice? Glance, we were looking. Candles on behind us. Up. Up. It said glance up. It did. 
skies, well, sky, ceiling, sorry. It said glance up, ceiling's mm. blue. That's that static's on, that's why I noticed. Yeah. See any? And uh, the well, terms, no. You're not doing anything for us to fear you. You're telling us to look up. You're not moving these balls, you're not even setting off the REM pods. Why should we fear you? Try. I'm going to try some of here. It's totally random. I'm going to throw that ball over there. Yeah. I'm going to throw this ball. If you are as powerful as what you say you are... Node. Node. I don't know what that means. Does not mean round? N-O-D-E. Node. The darkness. It's coming out with two, uh, two mm. words at a time. I'm going to throw this into the darkness and I want you to throw it back. Can you do what? X. X. What's that mean? Is this like, is it winding up a little bit like, as a kiss? You want it under a message? Rachel, she might like us. We're getting a lot of girls' names. I'm going to throw this towards you. If you're really here, I need you to throw it back. Rachel, one of the names of them. Mia, then all these girls' names. Rachel, if you are here, or Mia, if you are here, or Chloe, or Chloe, or any others that we've come, that we've heard, can one of you please explain why we're getting all your names? We're gonna switch on this device right now called the Coltis Box. This will give you a voice. We're looking for validation from this and that together. It's happened before. YouTube! Hey! That's pretty cool. I had to go pretty hard. Can you speak to us through this device? Francis. Francis. See the colour of this device, the little light. If you can, can you give us the name of this device? Peter. 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 Did Peter have an affair? Did Philip known as Pete? No, the film was it, Peter. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the different side of Mia. Mia. Again. I've had that one a couple Is of times. Is it a thing had an affair with Mia? Is that right? Did Peter have an affair with Mia? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> wow! Is that a Horror no. That's never come through before. And I think that. I mean, I'm not saying it's linked, but I think today we've actually had Soul Reap Paranormal. Oh, whoa, well, can you feel that call there, yeah? If Paranormal. Now, if it's really truly paranormal what's happening right now, you need to do something. Something that's going to disturb us in this room. You need to move something in front of our face. Come on. You know you can do it. You've got the power. Paranormal. Can't believe that. Nerve. nerve. Yeah, it is nerve. We need to know what's happening. We've got a right to know. If you're communicating with us, we want to communicate with you. We need the proof that you are here to show people. There's people scared of dying. There's people that have lost people that want to know that they're okay. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Can you use this device to speak to us tonight?
I'm called Mel. Office. Office. No, mm -hmm. office. 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 Yes. Thank you. That's it, so Kyle. Swear to God. You did? You were a sentence. I'm here, Kyle, or something. Something along your line. If you're one of the female whose names come from this device, I need you to say just a name that appeared on the end for that box. Well, it was something exciting there, but. When people call you ghosts and spirits, the mixing can come in. What about that? It's from my girl. Not next to the girl. Exit. No, we won't exit. Not till we're ready. We're in charge now, we're the new counsellors. How do you feel about that? Hey, I'm worth it, Mr. Chair. I want you to say my name once I've sat down. Sacrifice. Oh, oh. Now, <laughs> sacrifice. Right, what's his name? I was just sat down. Stand up. What if he doesn't stand up? That would sound nice. Not a joke. <laughs> if you want me to stand up, can you please roll one of these balls that's on the table and I'll stand up and I'll move back to where I was. Do you have your feisty? Do you have a feisty? Do you have a <laughs> I'm not fighting, I just want answers. Right, I'm going to sit down. Mark, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Oh. Can, I, can I have your name, please? Grandad. Grandad as well. He said, Mark, good evening. Yeah. Freeze. Whatever well, the gentleman was that said, good evening. Well, what this to be? Can we talk a little bit more, please? So obviously, James is sat in your chair now. Someone come through the box and obviously said, get up, <laughs> stand up. Were you an old counsellor? X. X again. Is that, could that mean no? X council. J. Joe again. Joe. Gone proper red right there. Yeah. Yeah, it is definitely detected a change in statue. Yeah. Who's with us right now? First. First. Give us some solid evidence. Bang something in this room. Scare the hell out of us. Show yourself to us. Right now. In this room. Manifest. Once. Yeah, once yeah. is fine. Just once. Lay. I'm not laying. Where would you like me to lay? I won't lay down. What if it's some sort of thing they're trying to get into or something? It's proper deceptive. Not. Alright, so you're not going to get into him if he lays down. Is that what you're saying? Is this some sort of trick? Mark's going to lay down then. I bet that's gone red because it's speaking of that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, well. Name. Oops. Name. His name's Mark. What's your name? I'm going to sit back down here. I feel like I'm doing it. So that's laid on this table. Hello. 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 Moan. 
Mo. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mo. I'm not laying down a moaning. Uh, Mo. What? Oh. Great orb above his chest. Is that? You feel alright, like lad? I know. What? It's gone now. No. Okay. When he said that, I actually I started to get a bit deep. I like, hardly breathe. Yeah. Believe. Is that your way of trying to scare me? Levitation. What? Are you trying to levitate him? Is that what you're trying to do? Well, I'll give you one more chance. If I happen to go, I'm just going to call it for this. Yeah. Don't know you don't feel comfortable with no, that. No. You'll make the decision. Yeah. No one else. Just for people at home. Mark's made this decision. Yeah, absolutely. Alright. Alright. So that brings us to the end of this part of the investigation. It's been really weird. Uh, we had a lot of things come through on the spirit boxes, especially when I went and sat there and he told me to stand up straight away. This yeah. man came through like, stand up! But the guys from the other team mentioned that if we sat in the chair, it would annoy the guy. Yeah. And he come through straight away. Mark decided to lay down on the table. It mentioned levitation. And then you captured an orb on his chest that you said he felt weird anyway before he said yeah. that. I think I've been hammered a little bit in this room, if I'm honest. I feel good at the minute, but obviously it things can change. My eyes have been in the room, but they're they fine now, I guess. I just yeah. think when we... Cause I came in a little bit cocky, I suppose, and I got straight on that chair after being told... Not to. Not to. And I've done that straight away. While I've been in this room, I'm just getting tired and tired, feeling weaker. I think I need you need to get out of this room. Coffee up yeah, room. maybe, yeah. But um, it's been really interesting. We did... See the REM pod go off twice. I saw a light come on the REM pod, the blue light, but there was no noise, but then yeah, it went yeah, off and you all heard it. Yeah, yeah. I kind of missed that, but I'm sure I saw that one flicker red, which will be interesting if it's in the video. Yeah. I'm pretty certain I saw it like, flicker once. Mm -hmm. The balls have not moved, the one we threw didn't come back. Just throw them two now, and let's see if they go just from the same time. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> so, the balls have not come back, we're going to leave this room, meet up with the other guys and then we'll make us way into the basement, possibly for the end of our investigation. We're going to be conducting lone visuals, blindfolded, with earmuffs on. Come on, my God, look at that. That's why I'm doing my lone visual, boys. Good for you. I'm not checking. <laughs> stored and they died in a car crash outside and we believe that they went in the water and we've had that numerous times don't we? Yeah. I feel like I've got my right chest pains in here I think. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. So early on when we were walking down here myself and Mark heard like a bang. That feels weird here now. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. We're at a crossroads here maybe that's why it feels weird. Could be. Watch them bricks. Yeah watch yours. Good evening spirits, we've now entered the basement, we know that bodies were stored down here. We know that someone made a bang early on when myself, Mark and James came down here. If that was you, is there any way you could move something in this room right now to make us aware of your presence? Could you copy this noise? Can you walk up to us? I'm going to make this way towards you right now. We know that you're here, there's no point in you hiding.
Yeah, it is. Fucking it is. Very similar to that. <laughs> Spirits, by looking at this place that we're in right now, we can tell that it's very old. What was that? That was me. Oh, God for that. I saw your face, mate. I'm like, what is that? Can you walk up to us on these floorboards right now, on command? It's for his own personal experience. I've got static on my leg hairs, so I can feel them going up. Yeah. Can you do this? Are there any men of God here? I heard that. It sounded like it was quite a bit away as well. Can you come in this way? I've got a good smell. I've got a cold. <laughs> can you listen to Mark and do what Mark says? Keep walking towards me if you can. Where early on, I was just stuck there where that massive band come from. Yeah. This is the room we're going to now. They said a poltergeist lingers here. Or a dark entity, possibly pretending to be a child. Or a bang. Is that correct? Is that what you're disguising yourself as? Because if that's true, we are aware of what you are. We want answers. What is your name? What is it that you want? Why do you remain here? Any chance you can knock that book over? If you are a poltergeist that will be a really really easy work for you. Just hiding, this is what they do until you've gone. I'm going to wait in for loans. We've got no eyes, no ears. What's going to see? Yeah. Come to you if you can knock it over or not. It's the Christmas oh, decorations room. Right, I'll sit here. All on that sofa. Hmm? All on that sofa. Yeah. yeah. Oh! Is that you, Evan? Oh, is that 
Yes. Oh, it would hard it was. Have you seen a ball like that? I must have thought of Did you see that? I did, I don't know if it were, I thought it was a reflection of someone. No, yeah, what? Swear to God, that's all right. Yeah, go. Let's get out of the summer out there. Definitely then, summer out there. Hello? So I've remembered to lock the door. This is room where all the lots will catch you. So it's now warm vigil time. Mark's going first, and then Albert going second. He's going to be blindfolded, he's going to be deaf, and we're going to leave him in this room on his own. So I'm going to blindfold you now, pal, and You're see what you get. I can't see up, I can't breathe in this area. Yeah, I'm gonna put your defence on. Is that proper on, yeah? I'm gonna touch red pods. Turn it like that, baby. Spirits of Nothingly Town Hall. As you know, I've been left here alone. I can't see you, I can't hear you. This is your chance to do something fantastic and me not react. Oh my god. Just felt an horrible breeze or something. This is awful already, guys. In fact, um No. Lads. Oh. Not it bad? Yeah. Worse than you've done? Possibly. Well, more than likely. Well, the good thing is I'm not doing it. Are you not? Are you not doing it? No. You fucker. <laughs> I just wanted to see how you felt, because I did it blindfolded the other day, it was horrible. But to be deaf as well, this Man, is a totally I, different ball game. It's just, oh, and we thought we could hear a REM pod going off us. I don't know. Yeah, I could hear beeping from in here, like a REM pod beep. To be fair, I couldn't hear you all, I just guessed when to go. I shot on my RA and I didn't know if I couldn't hear now, could I? So I fucking <laughs> just went with it. But. Right then, guys, so as you've just seen, that, no chance. I can't do that. Um, that's another level of uncomfortableness. That I'm, I'm not med for that at all. It's a, it's a scary enough place as it is in here. Uh, we aren't being deaf and blind. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try and get some kind of communication going. Is there any other monks here that are allegedly buried in this wall behind me? If you are, come and affect one of these devices in front of me. Or come and sit alongside me. Did you just touch me on my hand earlier when I was blindfolded? Was that my imagination? This is your chance to really communicate, I'm, I'm all alone. You could use one red pod for the answer yes, one for no. Whichever, whatever is easiest for you to communicate with me, I'm willing to help you out with that. Well, first, first question, this one's for yes, this one's for no. Are there any spirits here with me right now? Did you see me as an easy target when I was blindfolded and uh, earmuffed? And now you don't see me as quite an easy target? I actually don't think you're here at the moment. Now it feels really calm and it didn't feel like that earlier. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna step out of here, right? I'm gonna leave that camera rolling, I'm gonna leave these turned on. I'm gonna give you one minute to set one of these devices off. 
Right, one minute. This is your last chance. Take press. Even better. Sit me down. You sit down. Do it. 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 Before I leave Spirit, please do exactly to Kyle what you did to me. Touch his left hand. If, if there's any screaming, yeah. straight in. Yeah, yeah, no problem there. Are you right? Yeah. Straight away. Right Spirit, it's Mark's left this building. It's now my turn. If anyone's here, can you set off the REM pods in front of me right now? I'm here to communicate in order to capture you on camera to show the public that life after death exists. Could you try and show yourself? Set off a device? Oh, fucking hell. So here. Uh, can you affect a REM pod? Mark sat here a moment ago and he did this. Why is it that you were so quiet? Whoa! Whoa, 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 I felt then like someone had fucking come behind me, man. And his hands were on me. Like, yeah. on me. On me. Fuck me. Yeah. Scale on one side. Oh, no, no, it was all right at first. It felt like he had come in, like, right. from both ways. What are you doing? I don't know. No, just a feeling. Just like it was like I was getting squashed. It's like I was getting, squ like squ like getting squashed in the middle. Yeah. Like, what are you? Yeah. But what I didn't enjoy that, but I think the pile's on the but I'll handle that a little bit better. Yeah. Not much longer than you. I don't know. I felt safe. like it was from there, because I knew there was a doorway there, and I knew there was the gap here. Mm -hmm. But I, start, I, I can't explain what I've just felt then. I, I know how you feel now. I wasn't going to do that. I wanted to test you to see if you'd do it. And yeah. obviously, I was right in thinking it was going to be that bad. Mm -hmm. um, just explain what you felt when you did that. Yeah, straight away, I mean, I, I made it quite clear I were out of my comfort zone. I think anybody is in that kind of situation. Um, I were all right until, it were, I don't know if it were a touch, a breeze or what, because you can't physically see or hear, you've no idea what it is and I, I panicked and I was like, yep, I'm done with that. It just, well, it just weren't nice at all. You're not be sick, as soon as you left me. I got this breeze instantly. Mm -hmm. Instantly felt it come round like a like a walk. Yeah. And then I thought right, I'll stick it out of it, keep going, asking questions. As soon as I started calling out, I just felt like this thing were getting closer to me, closer and closer and closer. And then I physically felt I don't know if it were like your two are now on me, that feeling yeah. of something around me. I mean I felt like 
I don't know if it was not hands, but like there was something on me, like there. Yeah, like, yeah. like, 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 like that on your shoulders. Like moving down my neck. Right, leaning on to you like that. And as you saw, footage, I ripped feet straight off me. Here, <laughs> sorry for my haircut and that, but that's why I got that on. Yeah, that happened and it absolutely freaked me out. So we want to thank Equinox Paranormal and the other investigators that joined them tonight on this investigation. It's been a truly stunning place, one of my favourite places we've been. We've had a lot going off, it's been different. Um, I think the most interesting part at night was the conference room, where we got all those yeah. names coming through. Yeah. Um, the orbs on you when it mentioned levitation. Yeah. Um, when I got told to stand up out of that main chair, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that was pretty yeah. on command, wasn't it? I can't believe we've had no REM pod activity apart from twice in that room where it just like so the light come on and yeah. it um, But other than that, we don't know what we've captured at this moment in time. However, if you're watching this film, then you know what you've seen yeah. is what we've seen, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we've really, really enjoyed it. It's been an interesting investigation. I think before we do end this, I think you should switch that box on that you've built. Yeah. Just have a quick five minutes down here before we leave. Yeah. James has actually purchased these parts from Infraready, but the box and the idea has made himself. Basically, he's put this into a vintage box, soldered it all together, built it basically by himself. Do you want to just show him what you've done? Right. So as you can see, guys, yeah, he's placed the box together, plugging in the antenna that he's fitted himself, and basically, I believe that this kind of works like a PSB7. Yeah. And it's got Marshall amp. And it's got a Marshall amp speaker built in there. That, that, that door, pop, push. As you've seen guys, that's the first time we've ever used the device. We did get a bit of music come through. There might be some on there that we've missed. We don't know until we've edited it. Yeah, well, really as cool. you've just said as well, Kyle, with that being more or less all static, if we do get something through that, it's a lot that's a lot more, there's a lot more validation to that than... Instead of it being just radio spewing through. It's a radio, yeah. That's pretty cool. I like, I like what it's in. It looks good. There's a possibility that in the future these may be made to sell. Mm. We don't know, but obviously James, is, James, is, James has been soldering, so he's pretty good at that. But yeah, we want to thank everyone for inviting us here tonight. We've thoroughly enjoyed it. Look forward to more videos in the future. Until next time. Right.